Yo, 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 welcome back. This is the Kickoff FC Show. This is your boy, Right 2012, and that's your boy, Leon Bailey. <laughs> that room by the building. I'm going with Leon Bailey this game, but go ahead. We'll get there. You'll see why. Spoiler alert! Anyway, we're previewing Manchester United versus Aston Villa, and I think we know who this traitor I is cheering for. Get out of here. I picked them to be. The most improved Yo. at the beginning of the season. and Halfway through the season, you're looking quite like a genius. I'm saying they could have topped the league if they won against Sheffield last week. Hey, you was on par with Sir Alex. Yo, Sir Alex Ferguson said Aston Villa, after they lost, remember that loss when they lost like 4-1 or 5-1? Yeah. They got that trash in. I was like, this is your, this is your king. This is your pick. <laughs> I was yelling him and them. Yes. Sir Alex Ferguson came out and was like, yo, this team, yes, they lost 4-1. I'm telling you, what I saw yeah. from these players, they're going to be up I'm there in you, the Jack. discussion. And clearly you saw it beforehand. I don't know if it's because you buy biased towards Leon goal. Bailey. Emery's the goal, man. No, There's a I'm, quality coach in him. Emery is the goal. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? That's a quality coach. Think about it. Every team that man went to, he was at Valencia. Mm -hmm. He was at Sevilla when he kicked our butt in the Champions League, in the Europa League. But you know, him beat it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right? And then um, he was also with every club he went to, he brought them back to relevance and then he moved on. Where was Aston Villa? No, people Mid don't table. remember that Steven Gerrard was even on. He was even yeah, on he was. And what was what was Aston Villa doing with Steven Gerrard? Bottom table. Just, this above, is why, just above relegation. This is why coaching and tactics make a mm -hmm. huge difference. And yes... They have some new signings on the team. Preparation. But it's though. still the same core. Yeah. On that team. 100%. And look at what Aston Villa is doing. I can't help it. They're informed. They haven't lost any games in five matches. So credit to Aston Villa. No, on the flip side. <laughs> now I'm panicking. Yeah, but... Don't panic. No, I am because I'm going to lose my job. But... The horror show. I think it's still Halloween. The nightmare. It's at still the Halloween. Of dreams. Oh my god. The what? Nightmare. Do we have a home? Because Old Trafford is not a home. No, it's not. At the moment, it's not our home. No, it's everybody else's if home. It's, we a, it's a home. It's a broken home. No offense, judge. But that's not a home, dog. Mm -mm. You, you don't have man. Everybody beating you on your home field. Exactly. Bournemouth, first time in the history of the club. Whooping us, they didn't even just win, they whooped us. English Premier League, Manchester United. <laughs> <laughs> On our home field, so yeah, let's keep that in perspective here. And I don't know if the fellas gonna try to show up like they did against Liverpool and show a little bit of heart, but this Aston Villa team is clicking. And them boys ain't planning to lose, especially when they're technically in the title race. Yeah, they are in the title race at the moment. So they need a bounce back game. Unfortunately, it's up against Manchester United, which I don't see us. Uh, I can't even say it. Uh, oh, shit. Say it again. Say something. Else. Oh, we're freaking losing this game. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Yo. Uh, I can't even I can't even fix my mouth to say we're gonna freaking win. I can't even fix my mouth to give a positive comment to think that somehow these players are gonna give us the potential and talent that they have to win the game against Aston Villa. Emery is gonna have such a tactic set up and Leon Bailey is gonna run the loo. Whoever they put at wing back. Bailey is going to have a field day. A field day. It's not even just Liam Bailey. They have a whole squad from top down. Their defense is solid. They sign... Yo, look at Emery, right? He mm. signed... Um, um, Powell. He's a defender that Manchester United wanted. Mm -hmm. Right? And I'm going to Aston Villa. And the man is so solid. Yep. In the yep. defense. Why why we why we couldn't sign a player like that? A recruiting and that's just, just a solid, there. solid defender. 
You know, and in pure, and it doesn't matter if they have red cards, injuries, mm -hmm. they're pairing players. They have wing backers that are playing really good. They have, uh, what's his name? Um, Signe or whatever his name is. Right, but they have a couple of, they have a, a lot of good, Matthew Cash. Yeah. They have, they have a bunch of really good players. Role on that players team. that fit. Exactly. System. Even if you take out you Leon know, Bailey, when Leon Bailey was injured, they had, they had other players coming. What's the new dude name that they signed? Um, I just, me, um, and he used to play for Leverkusen. Um, um I'm going to tell you his name in a second. But they have a whole bunch of players and Ali Watkins is in form. Oh, yes. Ali Watkins. They have, uh, I see, they have Douglas, Douglas Louis. Mm -hmm. They have your Tillisman. Tillisman is a player. They got McGinn. McGinn I'm is saying. a veteran hustler playing hard. And then they got Leon Bailey. They got Zanilo. Diaby. That's the name I was looking oh, for. Okay, okay. And then uh, Zeno. This team is deep, man. Kudos to Emery Chan for recruiting that team because that's really a great team on paper. And they have a solid keeper. And they have a solid goalkeeper and a solid defense. Mm -hmm. Strong midfield with um, Douglas Lewis leading that. Ollie Watkins striking. It's a good balanced team. As long as they can continue to stay consistent, I think Aston Villa is going to be a real problem for us this weekend. And we're not playing at Old Trafford. Not that that makes a difference because <laughs> we ain't got no home. But still... It's gonna be an uphill climb for us. I don't know what's gonna happen. Who's gonna who's gonna who's gonna be the player on Manchester United to show up to 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 gallivant the team to 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 thrust us on to victory? Who? Bruno? I mean I, I don't see. know. I don't know who's going to be that person for us. Garnacho, Garnacho, since that bicycle kick, you be, be fading, dog. It's almost yeah. time for you to hit back the bench. Right. That's so, a fact. That's a fact. This was your opportunity to take Rashford's spot, and you ain't doing it. You ain't doing and it. And taking Marty. That yeah, bicycle yeah. kick bought you like six games. I did say he was going to play out the rest of December. Yeah. When he scored yeah. the bicycle kick, I you said. earned it. He earned December. But if you, if, I mean, you might get Aston. I would start Rashford in the Aston Villa game. I need a veteran to be running against the defense and bring him on but the, for change of pace. Right, exactly. That's what I was just mm -hmm. about to say. Because we have, we really don't have anybody that can change the pace. Come no. Because when Sancho come in, not Sancho, Garnacho comes in, he's going up against defenders and wing oh, back and who are tired. tired. Yes. And, I'm, and he's fresh, young, vibrant. Mm. So you can take them on and create something from it. I do think Hoyland is going to start up top and then probably get subbed out to 60 minutes like he always is. Um, I mean, it'll be crazy if, if it'll be crazy if you start Marshall in this game up top. You know, what would you be thinking? If I'm Hoyland, I'm coming back to the half line to get a touch. Like, I'm not sitting up there standing beside the center back them and I bleed out and can't get no game. I'm freaking not even a sweat, really, because I'm not even in the game. I'm coming back beyond the half line. Give me the bumble club. Give me the ball. Me need a touch. Turn and make a run too. You see what I say? Because mm -hmm. if you do, you gotta play like Harry Kane. I said this before. Mm -hmm. Come back to the half line and involve yourself. As a baller, the more touches you get, the more you get into the flow well, of the game. You see what I say? Yeah. Bill. You have to come for the ball. If the midfielders are not playing you in the game, get in the game. You see what I say? And Harry Kane is a great example because he's Hell really yeah. good at that. Harry Kane is on the ball, off the ball, cut back, step forward. He knows how to do this mm -hmm. thing. And he has his technique. We've seen Harry Kane do this before. He has his way where he'll come back, find a pass, and he'll create the play. And then go you don't want to create. And then he'll also create a pass and mm -hmm. run to get the finishing pass right. to top it in. But that, that's his game. He, that's just an elite striker knows this. And he hates. You can tell Harry Kane hates being... If you tell him to sit up top and don't do nothing, that's no, not how he He needs to be much. in the game. It's, you got to be smart and tactical as a striker and know when to go, when to come. Same with Messi. People talk about Messi walking around on the field. He's lazy. He's this. That man knows what he's doing, man. He walks around us to throw off defenders because exactly. he knows they're planning for me. And you blink. And guess what? He's behind you. Yeah, once you get comfortable, oh, I'm just walking over. <laughs> exactly. God. Exactly. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is Ten Hag, I don't know what you're going to do. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to try to predict what the starting lineup in defense are going forward will be, but I think I have a pretty good idea. It's probably going to be much of the same team in terms of the starting lineup. Mm. But 
What are your tactics going to be? How are you going to combat and counter Emery Chan? We're not going to have all of the position like in some of the other games. Right. Not that it made a difference because we still lost, even though we had 60% of the position against West Ham. So that don't make no difference. So now I want to see how Ten Hag adjusts and see what happens. And see if you survive December, Ten Hag. Who knows with Ratcliffe in now what's going to happen. But anyway, scoring predictions. 3-1, loss. 2-0, Aston Villa. Yep. I, I, I'm just being honest. I don't see where we're getting goals from. I don't see Who's either. scoring? Who's scoring? I don't know. Who's creating the goal? That's my thing. I don't know. I don't Who see knows? it. I don't Hopefully. see it happening. Let's see what happens. If I was a betting man, I'm betting against yeah, for my sure. team at the moment. Get that money. <laughs> <laughs> it's anyway. a sad thing. I'm laughing. It's really I'm, sad. Cr I'm, cr I'm shedding real fan tears on the inside. Man, Aston uh, Villa used to be an automatic victory for us. Oh no? my God. Look at us over here predicting losses. Not at the top, Bournemouth and West Ham. <sighs> Man, losing to David Moyes. Mm -mm. Ain't that a... Mm. Mm -mm. Enough, man. Enough. Yo. Anyway, y'all. This is your boy, right? 2012. That's your boy. Dan Rumba. Let us know what your thoughts are. Interact with us. Like, subscribe. Drop a follow. Drop a follow and tell a friend about us, okay? Mm -hmm. Anyway, thanks for watching. We appreciate y'all. Happy holidays, y'all. And Merry Christmas to everybody. And we out of here.